If you pour a full bucket of seawater into a large iron pot and turn up the heat, the process begins. As the water reaches a rolling boil, a grayish-white layer of foam slowly rises to the surface. This foam contains dirt and impurities from the seawater, and it must be skimmed off to keep the salt as pure as possible. As the boiling continues, the water keeps evaporating and coarse salt starts forming at the bottom of the pot, with large yellowish grains still mixed with impurities. At this stage, the salt contains enzymes and other compounds that give it a bitter, harsh taste, so it cannot be be eaten yet. The next step is purification. The yellow coarse salt is shoveled into a bamboo basket that allows liquid to drain through. Then, the remaining saturated brine in the pot, which tastes extremely bitter, is poured over the salt blocks. This brine dissolves and carries away the enzymes and impurities responsible for the bitterness, while most of the sodium chloride that creates the salty taste stays behind. After repeating this rinsing process several times, the bitterness is greatly reduced. The filtered coarse salt is then returned to a clean iron pot mixed with a proper amount of fresh water and dissolved again. This time the heat is lowered and the mixture is slowly boiled. There is no need to rush as the water evaporates little by little. Over time, a layer of white salt crystals begins forming along the edges of the pot, looking like frost and growing thicker as the moisture disappears. Once all the water has completely evaporated, what remains is dry, clean white salt. Finally, these salt blocks are ground with a stone mill into fine powder, completing the transformation of seawater into edible, fine salt.